that this agenda has been targeted at the most because it was our strength that they could not deal with. So understand what they did, and I will skim through it again briefly. After they gave us an illusion of freedom, they lured us into this system, gave us jobs, and allowed us to get educations, promoted some of their controlled bourgeois Negroes, and placed them as our goals to ascend to. After that program set in our minds, they took away all those same opportunities. They promoted agendas that removed the black men out of the homes, allowing their school system and their entertainment to program and raise up our next generation. They then destroyed the communities from within by planting drugs and guns directly in our communities. And they marked our streets by placing Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard in every city, not as a memorial for us, but as a marker for them to know where they are attacking specifically. And so that others know that this is a black neighborhood. I mean, I can go to any city in America, and if I want to find the hood, all I need to do is find the MLK boulevards. That wasn't by accident. They set up laws that imprisoned more of our men and left the next generation fatherless and angry. They filled that void with homosexual sellouts who promoted a lifestyle and mentality that destroyed us from within, removing our values completely, having us disrespect our women. Pretty much everything that would have been right for us, they promoted the complete opposite and made these men our heroes and the leaders of our society. And we're still celebrating them today, talking about their money and giving them props and all that other garbage. Now we're totally controlled and manipulated, and we have raised up a next generation of black men that doesn't even know what a black man should look like or be like. We now have men that are submissive to their women and do not leave their homes. Men that are scared to combat evil because they're scared of losing their fake black card. And what we see now is either women or gay black men taking our leadership roles. This is all an agenda that has been used against us because while they defused us and made sure we are not a threat to them, they have been provoking and manipulating us to use our energy to bring about the change they desire in this world. Black people in America have an extremely high influence on culture and trends and social justice but they are just echoing the voice of the puppet masters. And this has started because you, Mr. Black Man, have been neutralized. You have been conquered. And you have been so imprisoned that you believe that the only answer is actually the biggest weapon used against us. Specifically, as black